Yeah, they're riled up. I just got done weighing them, as you guys will see. The last time I did an update uh, was in April, so 10 months ago. And in that time, um, they've almost doubled in size, so they're about nine, uh, nine and a quarter to uh, 10 centimeters long each. Uh, the smaller one, who uh, I'll still call Jugger, it, uh, went from uh, a little over 40 grams in April to uh, uh, almost 210 uh, today. And um, Grimrod over a little bit over 50 grams in April and he is 242 or a little over 240 today. Uh, Grimrod is probably a quarter centimeter, maybe a half a centimeter. It's, it's kind of hard to tell. Um, longer, larger, uh, definitely heavier, and uh, is a more uh, voracious eater. Uh, that's Grimrod in the back there with his mouth wide open, or her mouth, and then Jugger's up front here. Uh, just slightly smaller and maybe about uh, 30 grams lighter uh, than Grimrod is. Uh, they're, so they're still in this 20 long enclosure. A little surveillance camera, you guys will see some footage from that. Uh, it's a sandy bottom. Um, it's a Tetra in-tank power filter. Uh, I change the pad about weekly and it is due to be changed right now. Uh, these guys produce a lot of waste so you gotta stay on that. Um, this this uh, turtle bridge, turtle basking ledge is new. Um, I had one of the small floating jobbies and I would notice in the morning when I'd get up to go to work before the lights come on but the sun coming through this east facing window that one of them or both of them would try to get on there and so I wanted to go ahead and put something in there that they could both get on at the same time if they wanted to and you guys will see some footage of them uh, on that both during the day and at night Um, periodic water changes in this 20 long enclosure. Uh, aquatic turtles produce a ton of waste, so you want to make sure that you know, your water quality is as good as it can be. This pothos vine that is 
wrapped all around the room and then extending over there is uh helps with some uh, biological export of the nitrogenous waste that these folks put off i honestly don't test for ammonia or nitrites or nitrates in here uh, i imagine there is some nitrates uh, this obviously is a well-established aquarium um, with the sandy bottom and the rocks and the filter so there's got to be there's a uh, plenty of bacteria in here for the uh, nitrogen cycle um, this does have a, a UVB bulb in it, and I do see them perched up on that rock on occasion with their heads out of the water. I wouldn't really say they bask on this, but they definitely don't shy away from that light. And then this side is a, a ceramic heat emitter, um, just so if they want to come out of the water, they'll get some ambient warmth and it's not too cool in the uh, room compared to the warmth of the water, which there is a heater, which this also serves to keep them from pushing the heater up out of the water, which they'll, they'll bury up under it. Their diet, I was feeding them uh, shrimp early on. I quit feeding them shrimp. And the reason for that is, uh, these, this is a freshwater turtle. Uh, shrimp come from the ocean and bays and maybe brackish water. I don't think it was a very natural uh, food source. Uh, I know there are freshwater shrimp, but those aren't the ones I was feeding them. I was feeding the ones you get from the grocery store, which are saltwater shrimp. So uh, I went ahead and started getting uh, fresh tilapia. I would fillet it. You know, strip it cut it into strips put that in the freezer and so uh tilapia uh missouri uh freshwater turtle pellets um freshwater clams like i would give my uh, undulated trigger fish here's his clamshell graveyard um and he is right through there hope you can see him he's beautiful uh, i don't leave any shells in here because they are a calcium product and it'll uh, it'll raise the uh, ph so i want this to be neutral to slightly acidic um, let's see, obviously if I can get a hold of uh, some affordable live bears, platies, mollies, guppies, some stuff like that, I'll throw some live food in here, never goldfish, I don't feed them goldfish. I will feed them the frozen silver sides that you can buy at the uh, pet shop uh, when I can find them, they've been kind of tough to, to find. So. are doing awesome this is a 20 long aquarium uh, it's about four inches of water um, it, they are outgrowing it I know that so probably the by the end of the summer they will be either in a 40 breeder or one of the uh, 50 gallon low boys that uh, zoo med makes which is uh, four feet long by two feet tons more space for them and that should last them maybe another year and then eventually I got to start thinking of indoor ponds, outdoor ponds, uh, as these guys start getting some size to them. But Jugger and Grimrod doing phenomenal. I appreciate you guys uh, sticking with me. I haven't posted in a while. I'm going to attempt to do much better with that. Everything is going uh, 
great here with all the reptiles in the lizard room and the turtles and the tortoises. Uh, I hope everybody out there in YouTube land is doing well. If you have any questions, you have any comments, please don't hesitate to reach out. I do my best to respond as much as I can and as quick as I can. So, uh, till next time, take care.